Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, this is my second video today. Most of you know I don't do a second one unless something comes up that I really, really need to share. And I tell you, I have to share this because God is warning us. God is warning us. God is warning us. God is warning us. God is warning us that we better get back to living right. We better get back to living holy. Um, if you watched uh, the video from earlier this week, uh, you'll recall that uh, the Lord delivered to me a dream about snakes being released. Uh, and we know that snakes and serpents are usually symbolic of um, the devil himself, usually symbolic of evil um, and, and bad spirits, demonic spirits. Um, and I was sitting in my in my living room and I was just, I was, you know, listening to one of my um, spiritual mother's uh, live feed. And she started to tell the dream that the Lord gave her last night. And when I said a chill ran down my spine, because it was pretty much the very same thing that God showed me earlier this week. She saw a snake, and it was wrapped around the world, and it was ready to strike. You know, it had the same spiritual undercurrent to it, the sp uh, same spiritual tone. And I'm here to let you know, and you know, some people think this crazy, you know, and, and all of that. But y'all, God is speaking to us through, through his people, y'all. God got messages here. And he is telling us very loud and very clear. That we need to make sure that our spiritual houses are in order, y'all. Because there are, I don't know what it is. And I'll say it like she did. I don't know what it is. You know, just like I saw it in the dream. I saw it in the representation of snakes ready to, to bite people and destroy people. She saw the same thing. You know, and I'm even reminded now of someone else. Who told me that day that I recorded the video that they had the same type of dream. Y'all, God is talking to us. I know it may seem crazy. I know it may seem outlandish. You know, and, and you got so many false prophets around now. You can't even tell whether the word is coming from God or not. But y'all, God is confirming. Y'all, God is confirming what he's showing his messengers. And y'all, there is something coming. There is something that is about to be released. And we better make sure that we are in good standing with God. We better make sure that we're striving to live holy, holy and righteous. One moment at a time, y'all. I don't know what's getting ready to happen. You know, when I when I when I talked to Mother Henderson, just a chill went down my my spine as she went into her 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 dream vision, and and you know, I'm like, Mama, I, I saw the same thing. God showed me the same thing, y'all. God. God is trying to prepare us. Y'all, we are living in the day of the book of Revelation. And this thing is unraveling right before us. And we are too distracted. We're not even seeing that the enemy is lurking. Y'all, he's lurking. And he is at attack stance. He is ready to inject more of the demonic venom in the world. And if we don't have the Holy Ghost... If we do not have, I'm not talking about this foolishness that people got, the Holy Ghost that people got that won't let them live right and won't let them love their neighbor and won't let them repent when it's, when they're supposed to. When we, we need the real Holy Ghost. We need the real Holy Ghost, y'all. Something bad is about to happen. I don't know what it is. You know, you had these attacks that happened in London. You got the flooding that's going on. Y'all, the Bible is right and everybody else is wrong. And God is sending warning after warning after warning after warning after warning. He's sending it. And I pray to God, starting with me, starting with Victoria, that we are listening to God. Y'all, there's something coming. There is something coming. There is something coming. Y'all better get these false prophets and these false apostles and these false preachers out of your ear so you can hear the voice of God. We need to get the foolishness out of our ear, y'all, because God is speaking very plain. Very plain. And I even asked Mom, I said, Mama, did you see my video? She said, no, baby, I didn't even see it. Y'all, God is confirming his word, and he is warning us. He is warning us. 
He's warning us. And the Bible clearly says that warning comes before destruction. And just like in her dream, in my dream, in my other sister's dream, y'all, the devil is at strike position. We better make sure, y'all, we better make sure we live in right. We better make sure that we live it right because the Bible means exactly what it says when it says the devil comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And destruction is on the way. There's too much sin. I can hear the Holy Ghost talking now. There's too much sin. And sin is a reproach to any people. We better make sure we are not a part of hiding the accursed thing in our heart. What is the accursed thing? Sin. Whether it's homosexuality, whether it's fornication, whether it's adultery, whether it's lying, whether it's envy, whether it's strife, whether it's jealousy, whether it's politicking, whatever it is, any form of disobedience to the word of God, we got to make sure that we fight to keep our heart clear of it. Because there is something coming, y'all. I can't even, I wish I could put into words what I'm feeling. Keep your hands clean. Keep your hands clean. Keep your hands clean. Because the release, the release is coming. The release of these demonic spirits. And I just, I even ask God, now, how can it get any worse than it is now? But it's going to get worse. The Bible supports that. Nothing will get better until Jesus comes back. Y'all, things are about to get real. And if we live in this shady, manby pamby halfway living right salvation, we are not going to stay. Uh, stand. We will be poisoned by the venom. Y'all, there's a spiritual, there's a spiritual, there's movement, y'all, there's movement. There's movement, y'all. We better make sure we live in right. We better make sure we live in right. We better make sure we live in right. And we better make sure that we are obeying God. And we better make sure we're treating our neighbors right. We better make sure. Peter said, make your calling and your election sure. Y'all, something is about to happen. Three people within three days. No, two days. Within 48 hours. Within 48 hours, God sent the same type dream to three different people who don't talk to each other, who live in different parts of the, uh, of the country. Y'all, God is talking. God is talking. Do we hear? I don't know what it is. God hasn't shown me that much. But I can tell you with a surety that there is a spiritual release of demonic spirits that are going to encompass the world. And if we are not solely, completely sold out to God, if we are not, so, and I ain't talking about sold out to no church, I ain't talking about sold out to no position, or none of that foolishness, because it don't matter. We got to be sold out to God. And if we are not sold out to God, we will be poisoned. We'll be poisoned. We'll be poisoned, y'all. There's something coming. There's something coming. There's something coming. And we better make sure we're living right. And this ain't for the sinner only. This is for those of us who go to a church every Sunday, clapping and shouting and doing all whatever we do. We better make sure we real and we live in right. And we better get back to talking to God for real. You don't need nobody to talk to God for you. Talk to God for yourself and let him talk to you. And if you listen for the Holy Ghost, he will tell you and he will instruct you on how to live. And when you make a mistake and when you make a bad decision, he will correct you. We need to get the foolishness out of our ear and we need to hear God. Because there is something on the way. There is something. Y'all, I'm stirred. God, help us. I am stirred. I'm stirred. Something is going to happen and it's going to start in the church. Judgment will start. In the house of God, God getting ready to clean up the house. 
And if we ain't living right, these demonic spirits, y'all, we think it's bad now. We think it's bad now, but the intensity of sin is getting ready to increase. We better make sure our heart desires with everything in it to live for God. I tell you what, I, God help us because y'all something is coming. Something spiritual is coming. And I think we want to see a lot of turns in the near future. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. It was it was almost like I was listening to my own dream from another woman who lived about three hours away from me. The snakes are about to be let loose out of the bag. We better make sure. That when these demonic spirits engulf the world totally. Because see right now the Holy Ghost is still withstanding some. But little by little. Because the Antichrist has to come. And the government has to be. The Bible got to be fulfilled. You can't pray it away. We better make sure. We better make sure. We better make sure that we're living right. We better make sure. Because it's God, y'all. It's God talking. It's God talking. And I pray to God that we're listening. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we're listening. Because if not, if we do not pay attention to what is going on, y'all, we're too distracted. Put away all the weight and the sin that so easily besets you. You are too distracted. Says the Lord, God help us. If we don't wake up, if we don't wake up, we are going to be found in a place where we are poisoned by the world, poisoned by our flesh, and poisoned by Satan himself. Y'all, I don't know what it is. And if you look at the world, even in the last 48 hours, a lot of stuff been going on. I don't know what it is. God hadn't shown me that. But one thing God has shown me, Pastor Henderson and another young lady, is the same thing. And he said, let a thing be established in the, in the mouth of two or three witnesses. So God established it and confirmed it. There are some things that are getting ready to happen. Some things that are getting ready to be released. Not only in the world, but be released to fight you and me. Y'all, we are about to engage in real intense warfare. And we better make sure we got on the armor of God so we can withstand the wiles of the devil. We better get right, y'all. I, I wish, I wish I could articulate it the, the way I feel it in my heart, y'all. I'm worried. I'm worried about us. Because some of us ain't living right. Some of us playing church. Some of us going through the motion. Some of us satisfied with where we are. Some of us are satisfied with our position. We're satisfied. We better live right. Because destruction is on the way. And God loves us so much. He loves us so much. He loves us so much that he sent the warning. So we can have a way out. Find your hiding place in God, y'all. God is not playing. And if we are not careful... Christians and saints and whatever you want to call yourself. If we are not careful, we'll find ourselves entangled and wrapped up by the serpent. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but we better get back to being real. We better get back to repenting. We better get back to making things right. All this jealousy and this foolishness and this fighting among us got to stop. 
We fighting each other and there are things that are about to be released to destroy all of us. I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm praying that we're listening. I'm praying that we're listening because God has confirmed the thing. It's up. Oh my God. Darkness, y'all. The rulers of darkness. Wickedness in high places. Throw the principalities and dominions. Woo. Hallelujah, God. Help us, Jesus. Help us, God. Oh, God, help us, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. There they are. They are intensifying. They are intensifying, y'all. It ain't no joke. It ain't no game. We better live right. We better live right. We better live right, y'all. We got to try. We got to strive for holiness because there is something coming that if our heart is not all the way there, we will not stand. Because the Bible says that the righteous will scarcely make it. We got to intend to make it one moment at a time, one day at a time. Y'all, we got to strive. And we got to put on the armor. Go to Ephesians 6. Look at what he tells you to put on. Get back in your word. Some of you have put your weapon down. Pick it back up. Pick it back up. Get into your word. Get this filth out of your head, out of your eyes. You're looking at the wrong thing. You're listening to the wrong thing. Everything ain't to be looked at. Everything ain't to be entertained by. And if you don't stop, it will destroy you. It will. Y'all, we got to put away the stuff. We got to put away the stuff that's hindering us. We got to put away the stuff that is going to cause us to fall spiritually. I don't care what it is. I don't care who it is. We got to put it away. Y'all, we got to put it away. You're going to need to have some light for you. You can't be burning down with the world. And the world is getting bigger. Moment by moment. And the spirit of the Antichrist is waxing stronger and stronger. And y'all are the devil of the army. The army of the devil. Them snakes. And I will say this. In that dream I had, I want to say Monday, people were warned. People were warned. People were warned. But they didn't listen. And I saw some of them being swallowed. Ooh, being swallowed up. Being bitten. Being ran down by these spirits. And I'm going to tell you something. If you got sin in your life, you know you got sin in your life. You know you're wrong. you willfully wrong. And I ain't talking about what the stuff you can see. I'm talking about what the stuff in your heart. If you know you are wrong, it's time to get it right. God has warned us. We will not have an excuse. We will not have an excuse. I don't know what it is. Maybe God will tell me. Maybe he won't. But he ain't got to tell me. It's already been established. The spirits. These demonic spirits. The homosexuality is going to get worse. It's going to get worse. In the church. Oh God help us. The lying and the cheating. The unforgiveness. The hatred. Y'all we got to get that stuff out. We got to get it out. We got to stop. We got to stop. Tolerating it. We too quiet when the devil is in our midst. It's time to start picking up your sword and fighting the enemy. Because he's coming. He is coming. He is coming. He is coming. We've been warned. We've been warned. We've been warned. Oh, oh, Jesus. We've been warned. There's something in the spirit world that's getting ready to be released. Demonic spirits at a higher number and a higher intensity. 
and these spirits are going to start manifesting themselves physically. They're going to manifest them in our, in, in our churches, in our government, in our schools, everywhere we go. We're going to feel it. If you got the Holy Ghost, you need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you better start asking and believe. Because you need them. We live in an hour that is not to be walked upon carelessly. Live casually. It's time to wake up, y'all. God has said it three times. Snakes. Snakes are about to make themselves known in our presence. And the only way we're going to survive it is that we're standing in obedience to God with our heart fixed and determined to do what thus says the Lord and to love God with all of our heart and all of our mind and all of our soul and to do unto our neighbor as we want done to ourselves. God is talking. Check your life. Check your life. Check every aspect of your life, your conversation, your company, what you're entertained by, what you listen to, what you're watching, what you're teaching, your, everything has to be taken in account of, accounted for. Because y'all, the strong man is about to open his bag. And there are pythons and anacondas and cobras and all kind of venomous demonic snakes that are about to infiltrate and infest the world. We better live right. We better live right. This God talking, y'all. This God. I hope you hear it. I hope you hear God. Time to clean up. Because warning. The warning of God. Which is a manifestation of his love for us. The warning. Comes. Before destruction. Uh, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Because I can't reach the world by myself. I can't warn, warn the world by myself. I'm going to ask you to share it. If you believe. And you can feel what I feel. I ask that you share it. So we can spread it y'all. Because God already established it. And God is warning us. That we must live holy. Because there are things coming. There is a shaking coming. There is a pressing coming. There is a beating coming. And if we're not established in God, we are vulnerable and can, and can become possible victims of the venom that's about to be released. I love y'all. God, God know I love y'all. I know it sounds crazy. Oh, but something quickened in me when I heard it. Something moved in me, and I couldn't explain. Oh, God, help us. They coming, y'all. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it's coming. But I know one thing. When the devil released it, it was through stealth. He was hiding when he, when he released it. And if we're not watching, we won't see it. If we're not watching, we won't see it. God says, to watch. Be sober-minded because you are children of the light. You are children of the day. Let us not slumber as others do. God is talking to us. God is talking to us. God bless y'all. I ain't mean to hold y'all. Y'all pray for me. And y'all share this. God is talking to us. And we better take it seriously. God bless y'all. Y'all have a wonderful evening. God bless you, and I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I pray that you listen to God. I do. I love you. I love you with the love of Christ. Let us all strive to make our calling and election sure. In Jesus Christ. Amen.